I'm Alistair, we're inside here at COP15. Um, I work at Reuters, I'm the, an environment correspondent for Reuters. I've been covering this story for since about 2002, I guess. This is my fifth COP. Um, so I've been to every COP now since um, Montreal in a row, one before that in uh, Milan. What is the big story of the day? Uh, the big story of the day is um, really just the opening for us. It's, uh, there's a lot of, we're just trying to sort of stick together all the remarks about certain optimism about, uh, about a deal. On the other hand, uh, there are other people saying that the scandal about emails is um, causing um, doubts about the science. On the other hand, we've had Rajendra Pushari uh, saying that uh, the science is robust and defending the findings of the IPCC. So we're mixing it all together um, with no, no really strong angle today except for the opening, which is, of course in itself is a historic event. This is 12 years since the Kyoto uh, Agreement. How do you balance all the competitive lobbies and groups? All the competitive lobbies and groups? Well, that's difficult. Um, uh, we listen to everybody. We try to assess what they're saying, and we we uh, we go from there. Uh, we're quite good at filtering out, uh, we hope, uh, hoaxes. Um, uh, quite good at listening to people. We grow to trust people. The WWF certainly one of the people, one of the groups we trust. Um, after so many years of cooperation, um, others we we just filter them out as, as we can. How do you decide which of the many stories to cover? Again, we've got a team here of, uh, at the moment of about five or six journalists, so we've got quite a lot of uh, capacity to send people off to stories that may be stories, may not be stories. We sit down in the morning and just try to decide the ranking of the stories and, and go for the top ones. What is your feeling about the next two weeks? Can we get to deal? <laughs> That's a big question. Um, I hope so, I think so. Um, in some way or another, when you have 110 leaders coming here, um, Barack Obama and so many others coming here, they wouldn't come here unless they thought a deal was in, within reach. 